So what I've done is I've stopped the staples here and here. The rail is in this direction, is on this end, and that's going to be important uh, for the way I actually do this. So I have a couple inches here, inch and a half, something like that, inch and three quarter. And then what I do is I cut along the rail, making sure there's no fabric underneath it, nice and gentle, right to the corner. Then I come around the back and I go right at that point and I cut up at a 45 degree angle ish. That part won't matter a heck of a lot. So I now have my piece of fabric cut. It's a little too little there, but it'll work out. I'll, I'll make it go. There's no fabric underneath here. Right to the corner. And then I cut up kind of on a 45 degree angle. see that this stops right there on the corner and I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it back and this is where if you've stapled over to here you won't be able to do this action you can see now see how this is on a bit of a, a deficit I'm going to roll that out just a hair my goal is to get it pretty close to there I'm going to roll it out just a hair more tuck this piece in sometimes there's a little frayed bit there i tuck that in right there wasn't good enough it's billowing out there we go That's finished corner with just needs a few more staples. There you go. So this is a jig I made to locate the corner blocks and the keystones from the edge. It's a piece of one by three pine. It's two and a half inches wide. This is just a piece of quarter ply, three and a half inches wide. So there's a one inch shelf here. And so if I put it right here, what I can do is I can also use it as a cutting jig.